Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues in which we're playing once again as MacArthur. In the test recording there was a recent update with a, well, for Old World Blues 4.2 called Twilight's Last Gleaming and of course if you have the Enclave you have to play as the Enclave. So we're led by Ellen Santiago, Montana's mother, get more political power, more daily compliance, very nice stuff. But we've got one juicy focus tree here which I want to see if we can exploit to the max. But we're building America today. Once there was a nation that held all men or created equal, that they were endowed by the creator with certain unalienable rights, and among those are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That nation was mauled in the Great War, but we in the Enclave will never stop fighting for the American people from a base into a home. Once a string of bases across America connected the U.S. government together, and many of these held out until the fall of Navarro. These embers of patriotism were rekindled, or kindled by Santiago into a new light to which I'll be guarding the wastes while it burns. Uh, Gunrunners don't care about them. 4.0 caps don't care about it. The last great American dynasty. Many wastelanders knew America took a fatal blow in 2077. Its armies and people burning in nuclear fire, but most of them don't know the tale of the men and women who kept the dream alive in the darkness that followed. The Richardsons served America after the Great War, preserving its dream and protecting its citizens, whether or not they knew it. An enclave of the best and brightest would keep the torch of freedom lit until it could burn again. They were close to, you know. The last Richardson had a plan to save the wasteland, a weapon that would kill the super mutants and feral ghouls who held back recovery until it all fell apart. Nobody knows what happened to the rig. A brotherhood of steel commando ray, the remnants of the master's army. Perhaps it was the rangers, cloaking their hatred of America and their sweet lies of liberty. Certainly the NCR had no problem pouring north of tribals, brotherhood paladins, and others in tow. The enclave killed many, but we had to leave. With a chain of command and disarray, Santiago took off and let the fight flight east. Let us honor her and how she worked to save America in the West. She took as many non-combatants as she could, get more population by 5,000, but recognized weaponry would serve the suitors best. Oh, weaponry man, the first families. The bombs gl glanced Missoula during the Great War, so while the city starved, its buildings survived. Today the city is dominated by the first families, survivors of those who planned properly for the bombs. Because it's always good to be prepared. Always have a lot of plans, just in case. <coughs> Men to match. Oh, uh, these mountains, or this one. A fire burns beneath the ground. The world was on the cusp of greatness, they say, or was it hubris? Poseidon energy drilled deep into the waves of the last of Earth's oil. They harnessed the sun to keep Old Vegas ablaze, and in Yellowstone, once a park, they drew into the Earth's marrow for energy. Marvelous in men's eyes, all day and all night, until Emma fire blazed, tireless and unquenchable. Poseidon's Hephaestus project, what they say, would have powered 20 million homes for thousands of years. They say it would have resolved the resource crisis, or they say it would set off a volcano in another nuclear winter, but they say a lot of things, don't they? Yellowstone's rangers refuse to activate the plant, but others wonder, think of what we could do with such power. But when the Enclave fled west coast, fled the west coast after the fall of Navarro, some fought on patriots who didn't give up on America journey east by vertebrate, truck or buffalo, thundering gun battles that go across Great Plains as they carved through the Brotherhood's despotism to reach Chicago, but Santiago, and those who stayed... And they ended up fighting a rear guard action. They stayed at Navarro. With support from the Secretary of the Interior, they acted as the western flank of the Enclave. Gone was a president, but in his place was a land lightly touched by radiation, home to happy, healthy children. A land where old soldiers never died, they just faded away. For something op odd happened in the region. Over time to survive, MacArthur began to trade with the surrounding towns and ranches. As relationships began to follow trade, soldiers turned into ranchers, medics into doctors. When Missoula asked for help against Heaven's Gate in 2268, she was protecting her retired veterans as much as she was the people of the town. Missoula's ranch did not feed the de depot. She turned the prisoners to coal mining. Ooh, I think we'll, let's do this one. Just because we're doing okay with everything else. So we have the first families. Um, now we want to get down here and go to Steel Town, but eventually we're going to do local self-defense versus Wings of Liberty, but I don't know. I bet you can do Liberty's Country. The Last Command, as well as The Long Nights, which I don't know which way we want to go, but I've actually not looked at this really at all. Freedom of speech, more political power, less resistance, I get more intellectuals. The Montana Patriot will keep you appraised of events in Montana, but be careful for a hostile newspaper to be more fear feared than a thousand bayonets. The Missoula Market, the Chair Force, basic training. Um, yeah, there's a lot here. But it doesn't mean we want everything we have here. We'll get through eventually all of it, probably. But a lot of it's just blueprints for the most part, it seems like. You get some more transport vehicles, which is nice. Ooh, Sin Pate is good. Tales of the Granite Company, well, that'd be nice. Lessons from Navarro. Um, nothing really major and really... Oh, that's really good, though. Sophisticated air tech would be very good. Anything else we really want? More stability would be good, of course. Maybe we'll come go this direction first. A little slice of heaven. 
uh, patronized historians are Western Wardens, Lakota Auxiliaries, Alliance in Winter, Be Warned a Ghoul Who Fought for America Made Not Look Favorable on the Enclave, God's Garden, The Gibson Outpost, Old Museum. After so long on the margin of the wasteland, Sergeant Grant and his boys have found a home. New home for old men, huh? Refurbished Highway, subject as Tellurium Mines, harness, not, harness the Bozeman Hot Springs and the Convoys. Plasma's Punch, that's not bad, that's quite good. Tribute for MacArthur, Chicago will take five scrap. The same plasma Washington used. Ooh, that's not bad. And a Shield of Humanity, Eyeball Reliance, Human Resources. You unlock a unique ability from Chicago to har harass your enemies, but it can strengthen their influence. Uh, our eyes in Canada. Send Team October. <clears throat> One of us should get a 200 level adventure versus defend against the Brotherhood. Montana's last mockery. Fate of the Traitors, a seat on board. Loot the Brotherhood stockpiles. Ooh. Versus send Salvage to Chicago. Well, a shipment from Chicago would be bad. Arms workshops, arms workshops, last professional army. I kind of want maybe some more cities. The Missoula Market. Missoula's market is already the best in Montana. With some further innovations, it could be the largest as well. Because why not? Missoula becomes an economic economic node. We make some money. Well, not bad, but the first families. Missoula was an odd town for the wasteland. The town of good, unpolluted farmland. Herds of healthy bison. Forests were timber nearby. Nobody went hungry. But in every society, some are more equal than others. And Missoula was no exception. The first families descended from the scavengers who returned after the war. Control the best lands, the best forests, the best mines. Colonel Santiago's detachment only increased the, the division. For who but the rich could afford the Army Corps of Engineers? Moreover, the increased security Santiago brought turned the region into a magnet for refugees fleeing at Heaven's Gate in the, can, in the cons. The lucky ones found jobs in sweatshops or farms. The unlucky ones, well, there was a winter every year. One of Santiago's more considered decisions was the use of auxiliaries trained with local equipment. Some favored drawing forces from the first families, but others counseled that refugees would be reliable to whoever offered a better life. They're reliable. Ooh, output. But we weren't we refugees as well? Resource production. Building technology research speed. Research speed and efficiency gain is not bad. One more output or gain. Well, we gotta come over here, so. Right here, we can do support for the Secretary of the Interior. MacArthur. Uh, is but a fraction of the Chicago Enclave's power, but serves a vital role as a Western outpost of the United States. The Colonel can always get more support, assuming they act in the best interest of the security of the interior, so. When we select this, we get 8 back, we decrease our research speed by 5%. We can set energy for power armor. So we send 3 energy, because we have over 9 right now. We get 50 units of advanced power armor, which I think would be a good trade, just because advanced power armor is super strong. Send metal for plasma guns, we lose 8 metal, because we have more than 15. Get plasma rifles. We need more water, because to get more vertebrates, birds. And then, shipments to Chicago. Given all Enclave does for America, it isn't a time to, for America to pay it back. So, I don't mind that one. Let's do this one here. Uh, I'll put... I want to maybe see what happens if we do more research efficiency. Because I'm sure we'll play as MacArthur at least one more time. Team October. Oh. The Colonel isn't the only Santiago MacArthur. Her daughter, Ellen, rose to the ranks of the Enclave. Ellen could have requested a soft posting in Raven Rock or Chicago, but she chose to serve with her mother, MacArthur. They're sure were the Colonel to protect the people of San uh, Montana. A true inspiration for all Americans. There are those who say she's gone uh, native. Those who whisper, indeed, that she may be a mutant. But if that were true, how could she handle the Enclave's weaponry so eff effectively? Uh, Ellen's unit. Team October guards the Weissen, handles threats that need a special touch. Diplomacy with the first families. A raid on a metal mouth, mouth uh, outpost. A trade mission to the bazaar. Well, what, uh, what else is Team October for? I'm glad she's on our side. That's cool. Intellectuals. I want more population. At least it's fine. I want more stability as well. Stability's a, a really good thing to get. Little Reno. I've been to Reno. I've literally been to Reno before. The bazaar. Uh, I used to think I was the strong, strangest person in the world until a man dressed as, as Zetan sold me a hot dog with a spiced mayonnaise. Or mayonnaise. At least, I think it was a costume. Before the bombs fell, vault Tech built an underground mall in Billings, Montana as a tourist attraction. The novelty soon wore off, especially with the Great War rationing, but when the bombs fell, the man, or the mall, found new life as a home for the swine herds. Finding little to war beyond a large Halloween costume, source costumes, the inhabitants became the monster's army and prospered, adopting a carnivalesque atmosphere. Today, the bazaar offers a giddy little thrill at a reasonable price for the weary traveler, and a neutral trading ground for those traversing the Great North. Better trade with them than the Brotherhood. Let's focus on some of this. Down on the farm. One of the best uses for our refugees is working on the farms and ranches outside Missoula. We can help provide a new life as employees of the first family. Why not? not to, uh, we can do that, but... Mm, I don't know. Free press? That seems kind of dangerous, if you ask me. Ooh, 10,000 more population. It's not going to grow up that much. But I still like it. 
Then we'll do this one. And then we'll do fun the Crow Trucking Company. The heroes of the Montana are the Crows, whose trucks connect the North's settlements. The garage in Missoula produces a handful of trucks a month, but with proper investment and enclave engineering, we could double or even triple that. It's not help just the people of the North, it will also cement the Colonel's rule. Yeah, not bad. Shared humanity is not bad, but I don't know, that's not bad either. A little Reno. The Salvatore's coming from Reno you know, with, with us after the fall of Navarro. Now one of them seeks to set up a little charming little club to give people a taste of the flower, flavors of the West. And so, more population, more elite. Research production's nice. So we'll do that, we'll do a little Reno. I'd like to get through all here. Do we need all these? Just need one of these. Okay. Ooh, Stormmonger's territories. Ooh, we rushed on this way. We can go to war immediately. Ooh, that wouldn't be bad. Marshals, more manpower. Um, so do we need... You know what? One of the following. We need this in whatever order. So why don't we just do this one? Get the stability. We'll go light up the rattlesnakes, a little sense of heaven, and then go to shelter from a storm. I don't know how strong we are. I don't think we're that strong. Oh, what are we missing? Close air support plants. Yeah, we don't have the technology for that, which sucks. That's why vertebrates are so important. Um, oh. Yeah, we definitely don't have that. What do we have going on? Send power armor. Shift to Chicago. A lot of the rattlesnakes. A little rattlesnake is where the first families of Missoula made their home. A lovely neighborhood. We'll get more support to ensure they have adequate power, of course. A little slice of heaven. Citizens of Montana, <clears throat> this is your Colonel speaking. Have you ever thought about how privileged you are, how fortunate you live in the greatest city in America? Indeed, it could be said that Montana is the only America. Where are the steel mouths? Are they very really strong? I don't know. Oh, storm mongers. Are, is this storm mongers? I'm going to war with. I think it is storm mongers. So that leads me to ask a question. What are the ways they can get in here? So we have Bozeman, which I've been to Bozeman. One, two, and a big old line through here. That's not good. The bazaar is a marketplace of the exotic, expansive, and esoteric. A trading emporium based in a pre-war underground shopping establishment. Legend has it the monster army which runs the bazaar is found it under four feet of snow when they heard idle arcade games. Another legend says they ate the previous inhabitants, pig farmers who they followed underground. Either way, the real horror are the prices. Ellen and team October journeyed to the bazaar to pursue mo rumors of grab plates that could be placed on vehicles to eliminate fuel use. But upon arrival, they faced a dilemma. The Bazaar's current master, Flab the Inhaler, long dealt fairly with MacArthur, but that's a problem. He showed no favoritism, accepting traders from across the north. But Augustus, Augustus Bailey had an offer for the colonel. Why not help him take over the Bazaar? How absurd was it that a former Raider gang ran one of, north's, one of the north's greatest trading hubs? Normal team October. A state of such internal matters, but the benefits were clear. Augustus Bailey offered to give them the greatest of the ars Bazaar's arsenal, a sash of pre-war miniguns. But any conflict in the Bazaar would destroy the grab plates and jeopardize one of the north's greatest trading hubs. What does team October do? Stand with Flab. Oh, attrition. Army energy cell conception belongs the Baron. Heavy machine guns? Eh, let's go with that one. Unwelcome guests. You know what? You can have this one. I want you to lead. Some slander. <clears throat> The Colonel's harsh methods is civilized the North, but clearly she's been successful. If she weren't shy, or if she weren't, why would there be so many refugees trying to come to Missoula and Bozeman? But there are the problem. MacArthur simply cannot sustain so many poor wastelanders at this time. Does them? Refugees are turned back at the town's borders, but smugglers try to sneak into them into a slice of the pre-war America. Corporal Ellen and her team of rangers capture the smugglers' ringleader, Mama Cotton. Cotton refuses to stop helping these wastelanders, but for now they're doing nothing but being under a drain of Missoula. What shall Team October do? Turn a blind eye to smuggling. We can't ignore our fellow Americans. A refugee crisis. Oh God. People. Send the smuggler to the uh, stockades. Oh, God. Spurned refugees. Do we want a lot of refugees? Or do we not want a lot of refugees? Well, do we want people or no people support? Because it sounds like people support Liberty's country, maybe. We support from the secretary. All the benefits we receive from the support will be vanished. Unable to provide the crucial resources to the war for two. Last command. Long night. Pack of hyenas. Because this one's the second birth of liberty. Create a faction of the Allied States. We're going to rule a sweet shot of mine. Colonel's Triumph. Loose hands. Or awaiting new orders. Montana Enclave. Wow, that looks like so much fun. The fate of the Can Canadarian Communists. Let this be our final battle. You will gain one favor. Oh. From sea to glowing sea. Ooh. Midwestern men? Oh my god! American soil for American causes. Oh my god. Um, I kind of want to do this one. Refugees? We don't need refugees. Where we're headed? We're not going to need refugees. And then I guess shelter from the storm? 
I guess. The Stormmonger's depraved cold threat to all the wasteland and to our fair citizens of Montana. If we're going to help uh, the great work, we're going to have to liberate the people of the Great Falls. Which wouldn't be bad to do. So do all these and maybe a shipment from Chicago? Chicago would be glad to send more assistance out west, but that may come with an understandable request for more assistance with the great work. But aren't all Americans in this together? Of course we are. Ask what you can do for your country. History cannot stand still, and, and as our mighty nation approaches its 500th anniversary, new orders fly to MacArthur. America's heartland is ripe for liberation. The Midwest brother, the threat so, for so long, can be crushed. If only MacArthur helps. The Secretary of the Interior asked for MacArthur to increase resource shipments east so we can finish great work. So, my dear commander, what will you send us? Fuel to feed the flames of industry. We can help the secretary this time. He was a crap ton of stability. Um, 4.4. Well, now we lost basically 5. Uh, there's still a lot of the rattlesnakes, which would be fine and good to do. Um, but, yeah. We definitely want to definitely go to war with the Stormmongers, as we're still making you know, two divisions here. We need more power armor, but we are actually making power armor ourselves, but it's not very good. That's why we want the advanced power armor, so we don't get pierced uh, super easily. Because if we do, that sucks. That really sucks. We also have to have it. More stability is always good. More war support, more political power. Um, yeah, we'll do that one. We'll also have to have it next. We just need more divisions. Uh, actually, that's a good question to ask. How many divisions do these guys have? War in the skies. Blinding hail. Not a lot of manpower like us. 6 to 14. That's a lot of divisions. Um, hmm. It'd be interesting to see. Attacks on the caravans. The stormmongers and middle mouths have become more aggressive as of late. Perhaps inspired by the Montana chapter. We decide who to protect. The truck, cow trucking company, which knits Montana together, or outlying farmsteads. Protecting the caravans gain first family support. Those are turning more people into refugees and cost of support. Lifebloods. Protect the homesteads. Oh, I do not want to lose that much war support. There are lifeblood. There you go. Um, political power, what do we have? Last American army. Last American army. Oof. Uh, is anything different here? No, I usually go with uh, the Golden Gecko. It's more stability, more political power, why not? Uh, little Slice of Heaven. Never stop fighting for the American people, of course. Oh, man. I just want more armor, power armor. That's all I want. That's literally just all I want. Just nothing but power armor. Provide 5 to Chicago. Using data links to accelerate our research speed by 7%, which wouldn't be bad. We're going to go with Yellowstone instead, too. We really wanted to instead of these guys. But Yellowstone Park... Uh, first ecologist C. Bastion, the original ranger. Interesting. Blessed Rains, ecologist legacy, illusion of danger. Huh. Mercenary city, powerful. Well, they have oh, even more divisions. Oh God, they have five to eleven, which is this is more manageable. More manageable. Still. Oh, we can do that one up and close out of that one. Honestly, I'd rather do that. I, we need the power armor. Again, our Western Wardens, Guns and Roses. Uh, bonus. We do have vertebrates, a few vertebrates, not many, but we do a few. We're going to do this one next. You're from a storm. We're going to do this again. Please earlier. Uh, eight days left, which is fine. Oh, if they're at war, that would help us out quite a bit, actually. Um, more manpower through here. Why not? Now, if these guys go to war with them and they want their t core territories, that would not be very good. But they went to war with each other. They also have to have in. Good. This might work out for us in the end. We'll see, of course. Mm, investments in Missoula. Military High Command. Eh, I can wait. Oh, wrote the book. Oh, Eric Speed Gain Daily. Michael Page. Alistair Campbell. Made in Heaven. You know what? This is unique. I really want this guy. That seems really good. On the wagon. I don't really need him. We're intellectuals right now. Broadcast monitor. Back in black. Well, population. Starting starting compliance sounds really nice. Plus 10%. Two time dealer with Mason Salvatore. <clears throat> it's not bad. Do the political power. Plus 7 weekly manpower against Pretty nice. Um, compliance, daily compliance is pretty, that's really good too. Playwright, jo Johannes, that's really good too. The e Chicago School of Economics, Abigail Markham. Hmm. Reaping the benefits versus ecologists. Oh, we have power, do power of the people. So I think devotee, head trader. Chicago Mercantile Exchange. Get to transit. Ooh. But you get more daily people support, we don't want that. 
I don't think we do, do we? So instead, I think, you know what, I'm gonna grab the air, maybe grab the air guy? Whatever, light air aces, cast, bomber support, bomber, bomber, sky freight, best blimps, probably not, none of those. You know what, I'm gonna grab the air guy. We didn't lose a single blimp yet, so. Ooh, they're pushing in. If we could like split the territory, I still wouldn't mind that either. I could go here and take this and take this. Three pieces of territory, maybe. I don't know if we can actually core everything here, but we can like destroy them eventually. Heavy weapon assistance, huh? Oh, grenade machine gun, that's cool. Lessons from refugees. Poseidon um, Link. Yellowstone. Light of Civilization. Plasma's Punch. Request more armor. Ooh, there's this one too. Who among us would not want more advanced power armor, especially given this weather? Should be for MacArthur. Same plasma Washington used. Yeah, request more armor would be very good for us too. The Bizarre. Oh, we got more caps. Yay. Work is needed. Uh, it's all ahead of time. Actually, it's quite ahead of time. Of course, we're, we, we have to go down and refine warfare. Uh, you know, I'm going to throw you guys right there because your line is not very well built right now. So, there you go. Let me tell, I'm not sure how coring is going to work, but we'll see. I want more customer power armor. And then here. Because these are the normal infantry, which I don't want to change you up to yet. I hate that she only has two out of four. I might not even use her in the end. And you are over here. Beloved leader wouldn't be bad. Terrain penalty reduction. More attack would just be nice in general. Well, we'll see. How strong are their infantry? Oh, they're not bad. Honestly, we're just going to just keep it there. All of the two divisions just move themselves. Even if they're bad infantry, do they still do okay? Or... You know what? You just do this. There you go. Oh, they have planes too. That's not good. Oh, we already lost one. Ooh. You know what? You do that. Herder birds are expensive to keep and maintain and whatnot. I guess just start going, taking as much as you can. I want you though. You though. You though. Do this. You can probably move fast enough to encircle and destroy them, and result in like minimal casualties, probably. Honestly, if you do it by yourself, you'd probably be fine. There you go. There's a lot of pressure on them. Go in. There you go. Nice. Start taking everything they got. I hope we didn't have political power to go there, but whatever. Great Falls and Mael Maelstrom uh, Air Forward Air Force Base. Air Force Base. Conrad. Ooh. Slave collars, yes please. Nice. Good. Hey, we got him! Look at that, yay! Did we get all of them? Okay, we have no manpower now. God dang it. <laughs> um, we're wasting pacification, which is going to suck for manpower, but whatever. Um, okay, well, in any case, we're going to come back down here. Good job, guys. Good job, everybody. <laughs> um, how much caps? We have, oh, we have a decent amount of caps, actually. Oh, dude. Oh, this is another one? Oh. Oh, that's actually really nice. Bozeman. Lincoln. Ah, oh, there's Missoula. I'm gonna promote the node as much as we can and get more money. I love it when that works out like that. Now we have more power armor too. Organize agriculture. Support the enemies. I'm not sure which way we should go. Montana Pedro. She went from Chicago. We read this one earlier, so. Why not? We got slave college too. Yummy, yummy. 
Why not? Oh, Mr. Rising Power. Manpower per suppression. Use militia. Economic growth, excellent. And you know what? Since we're here, we're going to go ahead and just use new citizen scare package for less resistance target, more daily compliance, and less resistance growth speed. Even though military setting bonuses wouldn't be bad either, but whatever. Rats. Uh, do we get anything for cores though? Because we need some cores, man. Uh, let's see. Claims on the Hovers core territories. Has no effect. Is a fixture upper. Or core lands. Consumer goods. Core lands owned by MacArthur. Yeah. You get war goals. Wasteland reservations. Ooh, that's cool. Trinity caps. Peace land bread. If Todd Howard rules at TAA, we can suit up for one last job. <laughs> Fate of the traitors. Switch out of mine. A lot of it just does not look like you have to manually core it, maybe. But you know what we can do? I don't. I don't mind. But be my first time playing this. I guess that's probably what we'll have to do. Ah, that's what we need for crops to feed a hungry nation. What do we have? We have a little bit of water. Have more energy though. That's a lot of energy. I'm saying the water. Right now, power armor wise, we're still lacking. The bazaar has cost some change. The bazaar is a marketplace of exotic, expensive, and esoteric. A trading emporium based on pre war underground shopping establishment. Legend has it the monster army which runs a bazaar found underneath four feet of snow when they heard idling arcade games. Um, I think it was this one earlier, yeah. Stand with Flab. We have a machine gun. Uh, stand with Flab for now. Uh, shipment from Chicago. Always good. Uh, stealing fire from the gods. Yellowstone is home to one of Poseidon Energy's greatest pre war projects, but the idealists and dreamers who occupy Yellowstone do today do nothing with it. Guys' riches are far they're taking. A power source that can fire in the industry of the North disappeared. Team October received an odd request. A group of mothers, wives, and siblings of convicts shipped east. Asked the corporal to check out or into the families have gone. Or, or their families have going. Of course, uh, although Ellen Santiago is adamant that all labor conscripts are taken care of, the families haven't heard from them in months and would like the corporal to investigate. That was somewhat silly, of course. Ellen uh, Santiago knows what's best, and the letters that make it home are full of praises for the comforts of Chicago's bright lights, but why not investigate to quash these rumors? And how will she and Team October respond? Do it like a courier service? But the rumors rest. Honestly, I don't see what happened. Where are you now? The corporal's first visit was a retired officer, who now resides in the veteran settlement at Eagle's Rest. Sadly, the town was not kind of the old man who, when the corporal met him, was on his fourth bottle of sentinel, sentinel of the day. The corporal sauntered in a uniform stain. You know you can't get drunk on that, right? Nothing real around here, he said, but we all pretend anyway, don't we? Why not me too, the old man paused, his eyes creasing. So is this a visit from the colonel or the local? He took a step back and knocked over his Mr. Handy to do so. Crap, darn thing will have, me, have to be repaired now. The corporal sat down, brushing away some crumbs to do so. Some families asked me to check on their husbands and sons, you know, make sure they're okay, quash your brotherhood rumors. I see you handle resource conscription, but the files don't say exactly where you went. The corporal paused, the old man's hands struggled and she saw, and you owe me th for three forks. The old man sighed, I'm a washed up old man, what's in it for me? If you want to forget, try the hard stuff. Do you not serve your nation, and will you not serve Team October? Remember what you did that day, I wondered who else does. Well, we lost 50 political power so far. Um... But this we expanded, I guess. I guess that's a good thing. Compliance is slowly going up as the resistance is getting harsher and harsher. We're going to be out of... No, oh, we actually have enough infantry equipment for now. That's nice. Oh, uh, we'll do this one too. Because we did say we want uh, civvies. Gliders are nice. Balloons. Balloons are nice too. Now we have double basic caravan equipment. That's weird. Okay, We still have robots. I'm going to keep it on for now, but I don't think we really need them, but we'll see. You know, we'll see. Um, anything else here? Energy's fine. Oh, another division. Nice. Multi-purpose equipment's good. Um, what else do we have? A lot of the stuff is done over here. Saws? Well, we're going to do anything ahead of time. It's going to be this one. A cabal. With any partisan stuff. Because right now we're making how much money? 42? It's not as much as I would like, but whatever.
Little Reno, nice. And yeah, I'll do this one. Uh, which one do I, I I was like getting this one first. You get more army XP game, which is pretty nice overall. Uh, drastic measures, whatever. The right hand, huh? I might just wait for that one. That'd be really good to do. I'm gonna do both these two actually. Uh, the wagons, more daily naval XP. Screw it, why not? <clears throat> Survivalist bunkers, arms workshops, descent and protection. Plasma's Punch, take five. I guess we do this one too, why not? Just depends on how many waterways we have through here. Nice. There you go. All right. Or how many entrances? We have one entrance here, two. Is that it? That might be it. Oh, there's... Th oh! That's not good. We may want to actually wait, maybe, perhaps. So we mostly just only exclusively use power armor to do all this stuff. And again, I do want to increase the, the size of these divisions. 12 and a half combos is not bad, but I want, I want more. I'm making 20 combos, screw it. There you go. There's no rush to for us to do that. Even though we're probably really out of power armor now. Yeah, holy crap. Which is fine, whatever. Patronize historians. More stability. That'd be nice. But, uh... Never stop fighting for the American people. It's one of the greatest strategies that so much of the Northern Commonwealth tolerate slavery. Whether they're servants of Heaven's Gates, servants of the Khans, or the Canadian proletariat. <clears throat> Thousands outside our borders choke under bondage. Must open hearts and settlement to them. If we have to. Uh, last professional army would be bad. The marshals. Survivalist bunkers. Ah, oh, let's go to that one. Well, some wonder why Colonel Santiago knew how to find the old survivalist bunkers. No one can deny their value to fighting. Uh, men and women who keep watch over the regime. It's a little ahead of time, but it's not by much. Save college good. No, we're going to drop down to two. We're really gonna need some scrap, aren't we? Yep. Basic training. Should be nice. Daily army XP for land auction stuff and warband's good. Um, any partisan. Keep doing that for now. The faster we get that done, the better. And here we get just more uh, arm stuff. Old museums, though. Alright. Hmm, we do need to yell some for this one. Heavy weapons assistance wouldn't be bad. Basic training, refined warfare, power armor. Which is a lot of this can be kind of be just ignored. Terrarium mines and whatnot, power, electricity. Supply is not great. Oh, defend against the Brotherhood. Any other countries at war with them? Oh, we can send volunteers to this one. Enclave doesn't go to heaven because we were raising hell. Six? Jesus. That's a lot. Please harass your enemies with strength the strength of their influence. More war sport. Gibson. Convoys. Uh, lessons from refugees? Never move flag to Colonel's domain is, is an uncouth idle mouth to feed. Someone can teach us a thing or two. Same old story. Although the arena is booming, bringing a bit of glamour to Missoula, Salvador brought his own share of problems. It seems that some of his <clears throat> staff have been buying enclave equipment fund raiders in exchange for jet booze and other narcotics. Uh, Team September has been tasked with dealing with it. How will corporate Corporal Stimmons, uh, Stimson respond? It may be that Salvador is trying to double cross, so we can easily find evidence to bury him in a little Golgotha uh, along with the rest of his crew, however. Perhaps we can come to some sort of agreement after all. Salvador still has sources we don't. Get my plasma gun. Stability. No way to distinguish small businessmen. <clears throat> so, he has two time in dealer, and the, but then he gets scared straight. You get more, less resource efficiency gain, less consumer goods. Um, where is he at? Do we need him? 
Honestly, we have so many others that we can choose too. Get rid of them. Goodbye. Good riddance. Mm -hmm. Good. Pretty good. I would like to go to Welcome Army though. Hmm. Civilian Outreach. Is there any compliance? It's so nice though. Get your translator. You know, or even the benefits. Just can't say I want any of those. The Colonel. Nice. And then a, a Formosa Franks firearms. Some say Frank's family would have a uh, camp little Guangdong when the bombs fell, but the way he tells it, they were loyal citizens. Whatever Sam's backstory is long been the best weaponsmith in Missoula. Last professional army. One advantage of the MacArthur's detachment military force is it is by and large a sole trained military force. It's because it's a rival over the rabble that surrounds their oasis of stability. The Marshals. Led by Sheriff Hather, the Marshal Service civilian auxiliary to MacArthur and enforced the Colonel's authority in Missoula and beyond. Increasing the ranks of both of the United States Army limited manpower out west. Chicago reinforcements. At Ellen Santiago's request, the Secretary of the Interior sent equipment west, of course. This may require further attention uh, to Chicago's director. Nice. Smoke is good. Smoke signals. We get a little bit less money, but whatever. I don't really care. January, and there they exploded. Military signing bonuses wouldn't be bad, maybe. Non core manpower. How are we looking? Compliance is still going up. Resistance is going down. It's almost zero now, too, which is pretty good, too. Uh, resistors, resistor, I hardly know her. Right, so we'll do all of these. We'll do McSweeney's Machine Shop, too. McSweeney's foe's Scottish accent. Drive from hollow tapes and pre-war recordings is annoying, but none can deny that he runs the best machine shop in Missoula, or the only one, if we're being honest. Uh, we still have a little bit of energy. I don't mind doing this maybe as well. Cut funding. Ga gain eight back. Right now we're, we're sending a lot of funding. Especially for technology, but we don't have nobody to send. It's fine. Doing Scott. Yellowstone is up next. Look at this. Nice, that'd be good. Military signing bonuses. You know what? Let's go and do that anyways. The code signal is nice. It's a lot of time for that. Don't really want to do that one yet. Stability is okay. Grab some of that too. Yeah, I'll probably do this one next. But only if we can make enough now. Power armors. Because we only have scavenge power armor and we're lacking a lot of scrap. Encourage traders. We'll probably open traders. Distress outsiders. Yeah, it's not good. We need a lot of power armor. I kind of want to do this again. Because we're going to lose a lot of our energy. But then, like, get it all back. Expand the Posada net links. While we're about education for wastelanders, we can immediately increase our tasks at Chicago's network. The security of the interior knows everything people need to know. And then we'll pull back. That's going to hurt us. But it will. I wonder how bad that actually will hurt us. Yeah, it's getting closer. 35, huh? Not enough manpower or equipment. Well, we have the manpower. Tiny bit of manpower. We're trying to make them as fast as we can. More than one to suit today, so. Overall, it's not bad. <sighs> Resources markets. Trade deal opinion factor. Resource efficiency gain, though. It's not bad. Also 1.8. How much? How are we lacking? Seven. That's not good. But do we get more power armor? Oh, uh. Motorized flight's good. A lot of time. Saws. Um. Guess we could do that too. For now. Something fire from the fire gods. It's more political power. We don't really need more political power as much, though. There we go. Of course, with this one, the Smiths are interesting. Greasers. I don't like the less hardness, though. More breakthrough is good, but I don't want to lose breakthrough either. 
Uh, so we'll probably just do Tolchinsky for now. And then we start seeing how much we need to spend political power for to court all these states. Hey, look at that manpower, pretty decent. 56, not bad. So we should get more resources. That'd be nice. That'd be very nice. So we do all of these. Plasma's punch. Sucks to be everyone who doesn't get advanced state of the art weaponry. Yeah, of course. Um, the shield of humanity, mutants, ghouls, mutants, and ghouls with guns. The wasteland is full of many threats, but the enclaves here protect you and rebuild America. The Gibson outpost. Gibsonville has been abandoned since the Great War, but still guards the routes from Idaho. With proper fortifications in the region, we can cut Heaven's Gate off in the passes. God's Garden. We could use that one, definitely. MacArthur Army, be Army Base is home to unique sets of greenhouses which grow tropical fruits, not seen in the Rockies for almost two centuries. Oranges, avocados, bananas, and more are served on the Colonel's table, courtesy of what the natives call God's Garden. Human resources. One of the advantages of the North is, is isolation. To that end, Chicago requests access to a certain biological samples for further refinement. Or they may be couched among the wasteland population in the long run. The survivors will thank us. Um, let's see. Experience soldiers loss goes way down. That's not bad. Uh, fighting support units get 15% more attack. These are fighting support units, though. Brother Knights. Non combat support units. Everyone else. More, way more organization, whatnot. Or would you rather just have this? More breakthrough and less organization loss when moving, which is good. Very good, actually. More speed and even more less organization loss when moving and more special forces cap. That's uh, definitely the way we've got to go. Yep. Muties. She went to Chicago, funding to Chicago University. Funding. Shipping over now. We can't do anything about it right now. How much money do we get right now? Not as much, which sucks, but whatever. We'll keep building it up. Cut auxiliaries. AI controlled. Or 50 caps. Grounded tradition, resilient in spirit. If the Stang Rock accepts, we gain more manpower and intellectual support. Our Western Wardens. Guns and Roses. I kind of like a Western Wardens. Patronized historians. So a lot of political power they don't need. Some other remnants of a private military company survived the Great War, although the history suggests they are frankly, well, terrible, like all ghouls. Yet they may be useful. Shall I pursue a treaty with them? Hey, yeah, maybe. Keep making, 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 making. Marshals? Oh, okay, there you go. They fight for freedom. So right now we're less than 400 needed, so which is pretty good overall. Um, so really, I start coring everything here. Scrap. This would be very good to core for the resources. This would be okay, not great. Really getting the Great Falls area is probably a good idea. Yeah, dynamite just in case. Get some uh, dogs. There we go. Saws. Ooh, we're making some gliders too. That's not bad. That's pretty good too. I'm gonna hit. See how bad the stability hit is if we don't send them anything. Uh, honestly, probably Victoria Flyers. Yeah, that's probably where we're going to be at. The Last Citizens. Pacification system enabled. No undesirables. I'm not going to change those. Distress Outsiders. Oh, they fight freedom. I haven't promised you that America yet lives. At that great effort, the Secretary of the Interior has some proof that the Enclave lives. Montana, and no, not just MacArthur Army Base. Right now, Enclave troops are en route from Chicago, the gleaming heart of America. These five men and women have one mission, the restoration of American peace and order. Just remember, when you see the Enclave, you see the United States government. We're authorized to restore order and civility. By any means necessary, just stay out of the way and let us do our job. And if you're the Enclave's mission, you will be dealt with harshly. Together, we'll restore the glory of this great nation. One problem at a time. Tips from a ruler. Oh, we get more power armor unit. Uh, more power armor. Um, gunships. Ten more, not much. But we get two rapid response divisions. Change support from the Secretary of the Interior by 5%. This three energy, one more metal going forward. Oh, god dang it. Honestly, like, I'm going to pull you guys out. You're going to be out, like, somewhere else. Because I don't want to lose any manpower. I really don't want to lose any manpower. Or we'll just keep them in there. God dang it. Uh, so you guys are what? They're still only 12 and a half combo with, which is whatever. And then we can go to war. Nice. That'd be great. I was going to start saving up some political power just to core stuff now. 
Um, energy cells are looking a little concerning, though. But what else is new? Oh, this is different! Oh my god! This is completely brand new! Thank god! The devs have actually fixed this! Now there's not just like almost like one little tree. Decisive engagement. Schematics, factors, and pilots here and now. Retaining airfield will be difficult, but that's no issue. We simply crush our enemies before the cracks are showing. Pragmatic aviation. Even the most scrapped together plane represents a considerable investment in acquiring rare materials and recovering pre-war knowledge. Jury rigging a nuclear engine after all is no mean, mean feat. Elaborate disruption. Rain fires from above, but will never match the enemy in the sky one to one, so why try? There's many other methods even even odds can test clouds. Interception. This is different. All air manpower requirements plus 50%. Oh my god. That's cool. It's an actual doctrine. Hmm, air defense. Air technology research speed. Are these exclusive? Oh, they are. These guys are exclusive as well. I do that's pretty that's not bad. Air superiority. Interesting. Heavy aircraft. Light aircraft. Oh, we'll probably go with this one. Air attack. Night operations. Cast support. Organization damage. Ooh. Versus less air defense and more air mission efficiency. Yeah. Experience. Less defense. Less close air support defense. More ground attack. Unrelenting firepower. I don't like the negatives, but I like the positives of that one. Air accidents chance goes up. Front loaded assaults. Air defense goes down. More agility. What do you mean by light aircraft? Fighter planes, close air support. That's what I thought. You get way more agility. Or fighter detection. Yeah, no. Unbridled aggression. I like that a lot too. But we're definitely going on this with this fight. I love it. Thank you, devs. You've actually changed it up, which is awesome. Alright, so you guys are going to be the main guys pushing in. Oh, 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 that hurts. Wait for me to get over here. Cast Army 2. Punch not bad. 25 more political power, but we don't really need that immediately. Well. Alright, let's save just in case. As we have a cup of coffee here. Oh, did we make another division? Well, I think we did. <clears throat> Good. Just in time. Great. What is this? Council of Mines, huh? They immediately start attacking our guys here, huh? Alright, we'll go over there then. Ah, the guy never really got him there. Nice. Very good. I love the Enclave. I, uh, do I really want this one? More, less breakthrough, but you get more breakthrough. If you're going to get less, less breakthrough, more production costs, but a power gets more heart attack and breakthrough. Yeah, I, I definitely want that one. Um, you know what, screw it. We'll just go with the Toy Flyers. Maximize that chaos attack. Go through there and cut them off if you possibly can. And then double your efforts to go backwards. Nice. There you go. Beautiful. Mm. 
Dynamite, yes, yes, very good, very good. And now they have nobody to go through. Beautiful. All right. You guys can go back down here and just do that and just push in. Jason, I'll probably just go in at this point now, too. Beautiful, my friends. Beautiful. Uh, that's going to be bad to do. I guess we can do that one. God's Garden. Light of Civilization. Heavy Weapon Assistance. Plasma's Bunch. We need more serious stability, though. Because we're going to be running out of everything. Uh, excuse me? Fort St. Anthony. Beautiful. Casualties. 12 versus 2600. That's 12 casualties too many. God dang, where's the capital now? Dubois. Ah, we did it, my friends. Beautiful. Where are the cons? We gotta deal with those guys. Stonks, yes. Heavy weapon assistance. Secretary will gladly provide us with more weapon assistance. They've come to price, however. Surely don't mind if sacrificed for the great work. The Great Falls Restoration. The Great Falls position in the Missouri River provides ample hydroelectric power for use in a variety of industrial projects. No one of the brothers occupy this town. How fortunate that they've been liberated under a rule. Prometheus bound. With control of Yellowstone, the Colonel wants to decide what to do with the asbestos project. So many options are before. Light of civilization. Chicago gladly provides. Energy weapons for sister cause, so long as we can further contribute to the development. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow to see what else we can do with basically MacArthur and the pre-enclave, or basically we're the enclave. Thanks for watching. Have an enclave rest of your day.